Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing for Model Railway. Uh, the last episode we drew the basic shapes for the engine on this side here. Today's episode we're going to go about adding more of the detailed parts on to make it look a bit more realistic and look a bit more like what we've got here. So the first thing I'm going to look at is adding all these fillet shapes on the top. Um, there's a little bit of a curve on most of the corners, but like the majority of them aren't as much as like these ones on the side here, which are quite significantly curved over. We're going to be looking to use the fillet tool for those. So for doing quite a large section like that part, that part, and that part, which if we look at all the photos, you see that's curved over there, it's curved over on this side, and this one's clearly curved on that side. Um, we need to do those three. This one here isn't filled over, nor, nor is this one on the east side there, um, which you can see in this photo here, it's flat. So we'll do those three and we're going to fill it these in, just coming in maybe yeah, 0.25 I think will be fine for those. This part in there is filleted, so we'll do the same on that, we'll do 0.25 so that's rounded down. You can see how that's now given us that filleted shape all the way around on that. Okay, we've also got filleted shape on the two sides of this here as well. So if we select that edge, now when you once you've filleted it once, filleted it twice, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, it just depends on the actual shape that you've got. I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to do 0.25 on that, and I'm going to do the same on that edge there. Okay, let's spin this round and see if the side face needs doing. No, it doesn't. That's flush all the way down. There's a bit of a curve on the top of this one, so we'll fill it that off as well. I'm going to do 0.5 so it's curved flat to the bottom all the way up. Okay, so we've got those basic shapes on there now. The next thing we'll do is we're going to add this diagonal part on here. Now, unfortunately, there's not really any great photos that show how far across that goes, but I'm just going to assume that this part on the, hit, the end here is added on to this part here. So I'm just going to draw that diagonal at an angle I think looks reasonable, and I'm going to drag it back to the edge of the um, inside of the exhaust here. You'll see what I mean when I start doing. So I'm going to draw onto this face. I'm going to look at the photo so that. That sort of starts at the top of this beam, so we can start, you know the top of the beams at that point there, we can draw a line from that point, I'm just going to come down something like that, I'm going to define that angle, if we do 30 degree angle I think that will be fine, and then define the height, we'll do 1.55. One if we select that part, if we extrude it, as I say, I'm only going to come to the inside of the exhaust. If I just draw like that, cut that away, first of all, you're not going to see how far across that goes, but it gives that, that element of look of what we've got here. I also think there is a slight angle downwards on the bottom because it looks like there's a crease line going across here. And to do that, what we're going to do is spin that round and draw on this face here. So we're going to do the same thing. We'll draw an angled line, it's going to come down like that. Define the height from there. So we know it's 1.55, so it will match up with the other part. The angle, if we look, doesn't look quite as severe. So I'm going to go, say, maybe 15 degrees. And then we can extrude that to the inside profile there, and that will cut off that shape. So you can see that angle starts at roughly the same point there, so that, that in my eyes looks reasonable and what we're trying to achieve there. Okay, so the next thing we'll do is add in this slot here on the end. So we draw on to that profile and we draw the canvases back on. You can see the slots still on the canvas about this position here. Very faint. If I turn the bodies off, you'll see what I mean. Really faint in that area. So we create a rectangle and put it in that position. 
and I'm going to draw the point find the width of 0.2 millimeters from the edge of each side. And the same on the face there. And then I'm going to just drag that and drag that down so it looks about the right sort of height. Find the height there, not point four will work. And extrude that into the surface like that. So I'll just uh, snap that extrusion to this face. Okay, while we're still on this end, I'm going to put a couple of clips up here. Of, uh, of these here. I'm going to do two small flip angles, you can see where the position are. Okay, so just get to the top there. Find the height of 0.5 and the width of 0.25. And then going to find the height on the bottom of that, not 0.1. And then the edge of that, not 0.1 as well. Extrude that to be 0.2 and pack them back to features, that feature direction across the feature tool thing. What we can do is Minus another 0.1. So that, yeah, because you've got to add the 0.1 for both of those. That's, that's all. Okay, so that's the basic picture. I'm not going to go over the fancy of it because they're minute and aren't really going to show up. Okay, so for the exhaust box here, I'm just going to draw a rectangle um, because ultimately I, I can't draw it with all these holes in it. Get it to fit. You could use a bit of mesh if you can find one fine enough. Um, but I'm just going to draw it as a rectangle then and paint it on afterwards. So I'm going to draw on that face, a rectangle, and uh, the height slightly higher, slightly out, and slightly out this way. So I'm going to line up with that edge, and that's going to come in slightly from it. Okay, so I've got the height there. the width gap there, I'm going to do that 0.05, so it's quite close, and it's correct, and the height is lining on there, so that and that should snap together, so hold shift down, or select these two profiles, and I'm going to extrude it beyond that slightly, so if I just spin to the top, Pretty much one millimetre, maybe a little bit in. Yeah, I'm just going to go one millimetre and then tell it to draw it. Okay, 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to draw is this panel on the end here. It obviously, it's got the hydraulic pump on it. So I'm going to spin this around. I'm going to turn off these canvases I draw on that face. Bodies. Okay, so what we're going to look for it's going to be a difficult shape to draw, really, because it's slightly curved, sharp in the corners. Okay, so first thing the midpoint. I'm going to draw a midpoint line up there. I'm going to turn that into a construction line. And then I'm going to draw another line in the midpoint of that. And that also is going to be a construction line. I'm going to use that so I can mirror the drawing. Go with splines. Can I go with something shaped like that? So can we define distance in there? Not from nine. Find distance from there, but also not from nine. And that didn't work as I planned. Undo these. I think I'm actually just going to sort of wing it a little bit. I think that's got a sort of similar profile. Maybe I could bring these in slightly. I think I saw a shape of the last one. Maybe it needs to be a little bit more height on the face of it. So we go back into that. Put it this way. I'm just going to bring that down a bit. So all I've done is move that down. So now I'm going to define find the height of that for you. So there to there. So from that line downwards, I'm going to put it as 1.3 millimetres. This one's still on the centre point. And then on the front here, I'm going to draw a circle to represent this. There, snap that. I'm going to 
go for two millimeters in diameter. And then extrude that. And then we can draw, I'm going to draw a circle with a pump on the end here so we can find a better picture. Yeah. I think a circle will be sufficient there in the middle. See how it far it comes out, even 0.8 might be a bit too big. It probably is a bit of a stretch. Change that back to 0.6. Okay, detail wise, I mean, that's pretty much everything that we're going to be able to draw on here without going crazy and as I say it's N-gauge you're not going to need much or even if you're blowing it up to HO you're not going to need much more detail than, than what we've got here to be able to look reasonable. It's coming along quite well I think. hope you've enjoyed coming along to this, this section as well. I think it's turned into quite a nice little model. There might be a couple of things like that I think Probably just do with this edge, just extend it a little bit. I might do that actually before I finish this episode. Just draw a small rectangle. I'm just going to extrude that slightly so that there's a bit more of this touching those feet. 0.3 there. I'm just looking at things there that are making it print better. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so thanks for watching this episode and uh, hope you've enjoyed it.